In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to solve the following problem. How many moles of nitrogen, which remember is represented as N2, it's a diatomic molecule, a Brinkelhoff element, not just N, were used if 7.8 moles of ammonia, NH3, were made in excess gas? I went ahead and gave you the balanced equation for this problem, and um, I always like to solve stoichiometry problems using a method called GWR. GWR stands for given want and relationships, which is actually the same thing as a ratio if you see that in a different video. The given in the problem is the only number that's given to you in this actual prompt. I see 7.8 moles of ammonia and whenever I write the given I always like to use the formulas instead of the word ammonia because <clears throat> just in case I'm going to have to calculate a molar mass I already have the formula ready for me. The want in the problem is the question, how many moles of nitrogen? So there is my formula for nitrogen and my unit moles of nitrogen. Now, I, own a, I noticed that in the question it says um, in excess hydrogen gas, but that's just extra information for the scientist who is writing this question. Um, it just has to do with the equation itself, but not with the actual calculation. So you can kind of ignore that part for the sake of just the calculation portion. In this problem, we are going to look for clues to write out our relationships or our ratios. The clues are in the given and in the want. Whenever you see two different formulas, two different substances in the given and the want, that should tell you to calculate a mole-to-mole -mole ratio between those two substances. I have N2 in the want, I have NH3 in the given, and so I'm going to take the coefficients in front of those formulas and write a mole to mole ratio. For every two moles, <clears throat> for every two moles of NH3, I have one mole of N2. So there's my mole to mole ratio between those two substances in the given and in the want. Now, as I keep scanning my given and the want, I'm looking for other clues like mass. Whenever I do not see mass, that means I don't have to calculate any molar masses. I should be looking for a unit of G or a unit other than moles in the given and the want to determine if I need more ratios or relationships. I also do not see atoms, molecules, or formula units, so I do not need Avogadro's number in this problem. I can go ahead and proceed with what I have. The given over one is how we always begin our problems. The given is 7.8 moles of NH3. Then you're going to use the unit and the substance to guide you to the next step of the problem. We're going to look for in our ratios for wherever we see moles of NH3, which we see it right over here, and we're going to take this piece of the ratio, the relationship, and put it in the denominator. We need the unit and the substance to cancel out diagonally, and when we do so, we put the other side of the ratio above it. And so now, when I cancel out my units diagonally that match up moles of NH3, moles of NH3, I'm left with moles of N2. Now I can always double check my want, and if they match up, that means I did the problem right, and I can go ahead and proceed to the actual calculation. In the calculation, I'm going to skip any one in the actual calculator pressing because typing in ones is um, multiplying and dividing by ones is going to give me the same exact answer. So I'm going to save myself the trouble and do 7.8 divided by 2. Any number in the numerator multiply, any number in the denominator divide. So 7.8 divided by 2, and with an answer rounded to two significant figures, I get 